50 years have passed, and a town is attacked by Beetlebots. Biker Jack, in the most epic way possible, viciously destroys the Beetlebots, saving a small family and leaves. We cut to a cult who call themselves the Daughters of Aku, then Jack sees a bunch of horrors, including the Omen, showing off how fragile his mental state is. Meanwhile, the Daughters of Aku have grown up a little bit and train as assassins. Jack travels to another town and meets Scaramouche, Aku's top bounty hunter. After an interesting and exciting match, Jack destroys Scaramouche, but not before he learns that Jack has lost his sword. The Daughters of Aku finally complete their training and plan to kill Samurai Jack. Aku does his morning routine and gives himself a much needed therapy session. We then see a wolf wandering while elsewhere Jack rides on his bike when they are both attacked. In an amazingly done sequence, Jack barely escapes to hide but is confronted by his negative spirit. Jack then starts running again but is chased by the Daughters of Aku who relentlessly hunt him down into an ancient fortress. In a beautifully tense segment, they track him down, however he is barely able to escape, killing one of the Daughters, realizing that she is human, and fleeing with a devastating stab wound. After floating along a river, Jack finds a cave in which he is confronted once again with his negative spirit, making him feel even worse about killing his first human being. The wolf arrives at the cave as well as Jack relives a memory of when his father stood up for himself. Jack and the wolf become friends as they recover, and Jack reserves himself to fight the daughters of Aku who have tracked him down. In possibly the most badass we have ever seen Samurai Jack, he ambushes the daughters and expertly takes them out one by one, however, afterward falling down a cliff. Surviving the fall, Jack and a surviving daughter are eaten by a giant monster. Jack makes his way through its insides, battling other monsters, as Ashi acts as his backpack all the while slandering and trying to hurt him. While resting, he talks to some dust and negative Jack, and our good old hero reserves himself to save her life despite her intentions to kill him. Finally, after much effort, they escape through a blowhole. Jack takes a rest, and while his guard is down, Ashi gets ready to kill him, but a ladybug, which reminds her of a painful childhood memory lands on Jack's hand, planting the seeds for her reformation. An old fart Scotsman and his hilariously numerous daughters attack Aku's fortress, who annihilates their army and the Scotsman, who turns into a force ghost. Ashi has a talk with her mother about what she's been told about Jack and wanting to know the truth. Jack agrees to show Ashi the truth and donning fashionable disguises, they travel together ending up in Hake McCoy's town. Agreeing to save the kidnapped kids of the town, Jack and Ashi work together to save them. Jack fends off the children who have gone rabid while Ashi is captured by Iron Man but defeats him and saves the kids, knocking them unconscious. However, Jack thinks that they're dead and goes a little crazy, afterward walking off with the omen. Having been left alone, Ashi looks for Jack and runs into the Woolies, who tell their story about Jack. Meanwhile, Scaramouche Head wakes up and begins his journey to Aku's lair to tell him that Jack has lost his sword. Ashi then runs into the archers, also from Jack's past, what a coincidence, as Scaramouche tries to board a boat in the funniest ways possible. Ashi ends up in a gigantic rave and dances her ass off, afterward thinking about some horrid childhood memories. She then decides to strip away her bad girl side and becomes good Ashi. Scaramouche finally gets a hold of Aku by phone, but is thrown off the boat by some famous cartoon dogs. After a brief encounter with these samurai, Ashi finds Jack who is about to commit some puku. She fights the omen and is able to convince Jack that his life has meaning. They decide then to travel together and find Jack's lost sword. Sometime in the past, Jack, followed by some little goats, find a time portal which he immediately jumps in. However, he is pulled right back out by Jackass Aku, how frustrating, who destroys the portal and explains to Jack that that was the last one. Aku then spawns three giant beasts which Jack, in a blind rage, annihilates, afterward realizing that they were his little goat friends. Mortified, Jack drops his sword, losing it down a giant hole. Back to the future, Jack and Ashi arrive at the same place but are unable to find the sword. Jack realizes what he must do and meditates while a giant army approaches from the distance. He finds himself in a surreal world and makes his way to a tea house. 
Ashi confronts the approaching army and kicks the ever-living shit out of it. During the chaos, we have a very serene and well-shot scene of Jack making tea. Ashi then defeats the army, but one figure approaches Jack's location, who turns out to be Ashi's mother, which the two have an emotion-filled battle to protect Jack, which Ashi wins, killing her mother. Meanwhile, Jack finishes his tea, which tastes terrible, and of course Negative Jack appears, angrier than ever, but Jack overcomes him, vaporizing him, and appears in front of Odin, Vishnu, and Ra, who grants him the worthiness to wield his sword once again, and also his robe. Rest in peace, Beard. A giant monolith Borg ship crash lands on Earth while Jack and Ashi end up on a giant camel's back with some tiger guys. Their transport being very crowded, the two get nervous and shy being so close to one another, but soon find themselves battling the tiger guys and escaping the camel to a desert. Where they come upon the Borg ship, which they take refuge in, however they are attacked by a leech monster which they escape and find a weapons room locating the weapon that can stop the creature. They they exit to confront it again, but Joshi can't figure the weapon out and are overcome by the leeches, who eats Ashi's clothes. Jack gives her his robe because he can't concentrate with her being naked and all, as they are completely overcome by the leeches when the weapon activates defeating the monster. Then they make out to some good old Dean Martin. They get cleaned up from all the leech crap and Jack tells her of his childhood and how happy it was. Jack decides to leave Ashi behind without telling her while Scaramouche finally arrives at Aku's fortress and tells him the news of Jack's missing sword. Jack then arrives at a familiar place where he once fought the Guardian, but the entire place is empty, the Guardian's portal destroyed. Ashi catches up to him and he explains that he left because he doesn't want her to be hurt. But while she convinces him otherwise, Aku and Scaramouche interrupt them, gloating about his missing sword. Jack then takes out said sword, and Aku kills Scaramouche. Before Aku flees, however, he notices that Ashi has a part of him, and after realizing that the daughters of Aku must have drank his essence that he gave them, and then in turn had some babies, takes control of Ashi, who uncontrollably attacks Jack, and turns into Jark Ashi. After an edge-of-your-seat struggle, Jack, unwilling to hurt her, surrenders. The world receives a message from Aku that Jack has been captured and they have lost. Jack pleads with Ashi to fight the darkness when Aku's fortress is attacked by all of Jack's past friends. Giving him everything they have, they are no match for Aku and he retaliates, killing many of them. Meanwhile, Jack fights Dark Ashi as Force Ghost Scotsman and his army of daughters arrive to kick some Aku ass. The Scotsman and Jack are briefly reunited, in which case, he must introduce all of his daughters. When the Samurai Zord appears and wails on Aku a bit, but Aku turns into a giant cloud raining down devastating spikes until the Scotsman floats up blocking them. Jack, who has been sucked into Dark Ashi, pleads with her to fight and after professing his love, she defeats the darkness controlling her and uses her Aku powers against Aku, realizing that she must have time travel powers and immediately grabs Jack and his sword and makes a time portal, taking them back to the past. Jack seizes this opportunity to immediately attack past Aku and epically destroys him. Happiness reigns across the land as we prepare for Jack and Ashi's wedding. However, whilst walking down the aisle, Ashi collapses, stating that due to Aku's destruction, she can no longer exist, and sadly disappears. Sometime later, Jack rests at a tree and is visited by a ladybug, which makes him smile. Ending Season 5 of Samurai Jack. Thank you so much for watching everybody, I really appreciate it. If anybody has any suggestions for other videos that I, they think I should do, just let me know in the comments. And if you'd like, check out some of my other content on the channel. I'm planning on covering the Samurai Jack comic and uploading a bunch more music as well. So look forward to that, subscribe if you haven't. Thanks again for watching, take it easy.